made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Baltimore Ravens and the Washington football team. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. And Charles, we look at this Washington team as they interplay here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, they come in 0-3 and in desperate, desperate need of a win. And as a team, you start to feel a little bit snake bit. They need something good to happen right now so they know it's not just them. They think they have the makings of a good team. in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. On the return, Deontay Harris. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they'll be led out by their quarterback in his third season now from USC. It's Sam Darnold. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. Complete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And to the 36-yard line. Taken down there after getting eight yards. Mark Andrews. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. For a Washington. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is good. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. On second down and four, Darnold. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. 11 yards there, first down. First and so in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Three yards the gain there, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They run for it with Carson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 
Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. Well, that's what's called being aggressive right there, but I don't know that it's reckless. I think it's much more of a message, hey, defense, I believe in you in case we don't get it, and offense, trying to let them know he believes in them as well. I like it. Your first drive of the game in plus territory, be aggressive. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second and four. From the 24, Darnold. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On first and 10, Darnold and is caught at the seven yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. At the six yard line. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. On second down. It's Carson, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Chris Carson, his third touchdown now on the year. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive, because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. So that one, a 13-play drive in total, and it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. And they're led out by their quarterback, the former Baylor Bear. It's RG3. And it's funny how we always talk about how analytics are starting to creep into the game. One analytic that's been there for a long time, teams that start 0-3, usually don't make the playoffs. So we know one quarterback today that's determined to end that slide right now. It's not impossible, but this is a must win for him and his team. RG3 going to bring the Ravens up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll drop to throw. And hitting Juju on the slant. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Here's Griffin to throw, and nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. He was. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. And the former Heisman winner. This is Mark Ingram, and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A pickup of five yards. First down, Baltimore. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Ingram. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. P.J. Hall there to make the tackle. From the 41, Griffin going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. And seven yards to go. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. 
Griffin. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Griffin, back to the running game. It's Ingram. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down at six now from the 42. A handoff. It's Mark Ingram. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. The Raven ball carrier. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it. That's when the great ones know. Now look out, Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And does Washington have it? They do. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find a good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That's good. Four yards to pick up, first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. On first down, Murray. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's at the lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. A first down throw, Darnold. He gets it to Cooks. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. the shotgun. Here's Darnold. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Three yards the game there. Second down. Brings up second and goal. Second down at four. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. Seven nothing ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Brandon Cooks, his second touchdown on the season. And Washington going to add on to their lead. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football, and that's exactly what happened there. On the return, Phillips. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Phillips on the return. The Ravens take over first and 10. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. 
meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. He had a little bit of a turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. And a nice gain of 21 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Richie James, his third touchdown now on the year. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. And no matter how it comes about, when you get good field position, you have to make the defense pay. Short fields usually make for good offense. Now four bath for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. On the return, Phillips. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 30. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Jackson picks it, and they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Intercepted. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. After the interception, here's Darnold. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here, two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning them to the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what we're seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Mark Ingram. The now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Gain of a yard. To throw is RG3. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. For C.D. Lamb. Incomplete. It's fourth down. Now the Ravens bring out the field goal unit here. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. That keeps this Washington. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the 29-yard line. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando 
for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll begin up in the Queen City at Paul Brown Stadium. Jacksonville on the road to take on Cincinnati. And it's the Jaguars who have the lead in the second quarter. Terry McLaurin, a touchdown reception. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Two touchdown passes there for Jared Goff. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. Mohamed Sanu, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency. Something. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It'll be a game of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run on first down. Carson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 11-yard line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Offense. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. They run again with Carson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and eight. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Intended for Richie James. Incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. And Forbath will put this one through, and the round is on. It's 24 to nothing. Washington 24, Ravens nothing. 
So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10. And the Ravens taking the field. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The safety that time, Tony Jefferson there on the coverage. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Here's Matt Wild now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. So here is Washington now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. Darnold from the gun into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. I think this is where you have to have the term situational football in your head because this game is pretty much in the palm of your hand. And the one thing you can't afford to do, turn the ball over. Now you've given the patient a little bit of a heartbeat, haven't you? And now they're feeling it and they're back in this game. Yeah, still a little bit of a lead, but that makes things more interesting. We're still just in the third quarter here. The, the defense more than did its job. Now the offense is shoving onto the field as they'll go for two. They'll try and run with Ingram. And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go, and the try for two is denied. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it. The risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. First down, Murray, and able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Number 28, Latavius Murray, the ball. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now a give right side. It's Carson. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open.
open, that's a good start for him. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Free yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Five plays there on that drive. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, Phillips. And he won't quite make it to the 25. On the return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 24. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The veteran tight end, Mercedes Lewis, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. Again, Griffin. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Griffin. And that is incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Takes over first down. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Darnold now to throw. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Draw play. This is Carson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, 
it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. They run it with Carson. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Jason Barrett brought him down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 50-yard line. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and eight. They run from the shotgun with Murray. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll run on first down. Carson. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. On third down, it's Carson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Washington. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. The ball carrier. Tavon Wilson up to make the tackle. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. On second down now. It's Carson. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third down, Murray. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now a first and ten at the 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They go back to Murray on first down. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. A oh, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. He'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that will extend this big lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
On the return, Phillips. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Griffin on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down for C.D. Lamb. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Griffin. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Yards to go. Now it's Griffin. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And now it's the punter Wild on as he sends this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and possession will switch hands first and ten. Now comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up second and four. Second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah. I, but, but I... But I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... Oh, I thought I was the only child. You That's get a game ball, and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for Washington, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll have another home date next week as the L.A. Rams come to town. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Cincinnati Bengals.